Hey guys, this is Alex, and today I'm going to be showing you a trick how you can send and receive MIDI data from your MPC to your DAW at the same time. So let me show you an example real quick of what this looks like. Um, right here, what I have going on is I have a single instrument track running on Studio One, my DAW. And that track is armed, and I'm going to hit record on that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my MPC and hit some notes here. Right. Now, if I go back to Studio One and I go to those MIDI notes here, um, let me zoom in on this so you can kind of see. These MIDI notes are still here and I can play that and it is playing back on my MPC what I just played. And so this is really useful for people who want to use the MPC in standalone mode and just want to throw some TRS cables into this thing and record it straight into the DAW, but you want to make sure it's still in time with everything that you have in the DAW, not necessarily what's in the MPC. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that you're going to do on the MPC side is create a new project. Um, and the first track that you're going to make is going to be a drum track. So Let's go to our browse and just pick a kit. We'll just pick the first one there um, and we will go back. And now if I'm playing on my pads, you can see I can hear everything, right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a MIDI track. So we'll switch that to two and then click this button here uh, to create a MIDI track. Um, and the MPC down here in this section is asking you where do you want that MIDI to go? Well, we want it to come out of the MPC, so we're going to choose MPC as our MIDI port. Um, now if you were to play these notes, obviously we're not on the drum track. So let's switch back to the drum track so we can hear what we're actually playing, okay? Once we're on the drum track, we're gonna come up here. There's a little button, it looks like an eyeball. We're gonna hit that, okay? Um, and then once you're here, you're gonna click on this, the little three bars there uh, to switch it to this page. And you can see that there's a send to knob here. So we're gonna click on that and we're gonna change that to track two, all right? So now when I play these pads, um, it's also going to be essentially, let's, let's go over here so you can kind of see this. Um, it's playing track one and track two at the same time. You can see right there, they're both lighting up, okay? So um, that's good. So we can uh, hide this, take that away, and go back here. All right, now we're gonna go over to Studio One. All right, so here we are in Studio One, the DAW that I use. Um, we're gonna go up here to the top bar where it says Studio One and hit Options. And once you're in here, you're gonna go to your external devices and we're gonna add a device. The first thing I'm gonna add is a new keyboard. I'm gonna type in MPC One is the name of this new keyboard. And here it's asking us, what are we receiving MIDI data from and what are we sending to? Because I have my MPC hooked up to my computer via an audio interface, I'm gonna choose the audio interface. So I'm choosing the Steinberg UR44 is what Studio One is receiving this MIDI data from. And I'm gonna hit OK. But you're still not done yet. What we wanna do is we wanna hit Add again um, and we wanna set up a new instrument this time instead of a new keyboard. And we're gonna also call this MPC1. And this time, again, it's asking me where am I receiving and sending this MIDI data to. I am sending this MIDI data to the Steinberg UR44, which in turn goes to my MPC1 as an external instrument. And just for simplicity, I'm just gonna hit all MIDI channels there and hit okay, all right? And now what you'll notice is under my external instruments, the MPC1 just showed up. So if I right click, add an instrument, and then um, click and drag the MPC-1 over onto my track. Now, uh, the MPC-1, just like you would with a VST, is now there. And I can hit my pads. And you can hear all of that. Um, so that's pretty neat. Um, a couple things I will note here, if you have multiple MIDI controllers, like if you have a keyboard, um, you know, another synthesizer or something. Um, you might want to come here into your instrument track. You can drag this down to see these uh, drop downs and change your inputs just to the MPC one. So then, you know, you're not getting inputs from your piano or something else. Okay. 
Um, the other thing I will note is I do not have monitoring on, okay? Um, and I don't have this on because it would just create a feedback loop, at least if as an instrument track, because what this is doing is it's monitoring every MIDI data note that's coming in. And because the MPC is both sending and receiving at the same time, if it were to be monitoring, then every time I hit a note, I'd hear everything twice. And it's just going to create like this feedback loop of buzzing. So at least in Studio One, if you just want to make sure that monitoring is just always by default turned off, you can go over here to advanced, um, go to console. And then down here, um, what I did is I unchecked the audio track monitoring files record as well as instrument track monitoring follows record. So just make sure that you have this stuff here um, unchecked. And then when you create a new instrument track or you hit record, you can see it's not automatically um, monitoring, which is a default in Studio One. Um, so that's pretty cool. So let me show you real quick how you can also bounce this down to audio on separate tracks. So let me record something real quick here. Okay, um, so I recorded something, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click this, and we're going to explode pitches to tracks, okay? So now, all of my different pads are each on their own track. And what I can do here is if I wanna bounce that down, I can add an audio track. And say, for example, here, this is my kick. What I can do is um, set the uh, the input to my audio interface, whatever um, inputs I have, just like you would with like a microphone or something else. I have it, the UR44's input five and six. If you go to audio IO setup, um, you can kind of see this here, um, the way I've set this up. Five and six, I set up as MPC stereo. Um, and that's a default, I'm gonna hit record on that and um, what we're going to do is we're going to play this again whoops i forgot to hit record there so we'll hit record and you can see now um it's it's recording those notes and what you can do is you can solo each of these um just to kind of get them all separately on their own track so if you want your snare on its own track um, you can quickly convert it to audio just by playing back that midi um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope that kind of explains how to do this. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. But uh, if you like the video, if it helps you out, um, please hit the like button. Um, consider subscribing. That just, again, always helps me um, in getting motivation to make more of these. So appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next video.